Our remembrance of Aldersgate Day gives us an opportunity to go deeper into our Methodist roots. Remember, John Wesley on 24th May 1738 had that heartwarming experience that so drastically changed his outlook on his personal life and on his ministry. During Aldersgate, we take the opportunity to examine from a Methodist perspective some issues of our day. This year, our theme is Seeking the Welfare of the City, taken from Jeremiah 29.7. John Wesley asked the question, what may we reasonably believe to be God's design for raising the preachers called Methodists? And he answered the question, to reform the nation, particularly the church, and to spread scriptural holiness over the land. And so Methodists must have a heart and concern for the nation, for the society changing for the better. For this year's Aldersgate, we have invited three speakers. The first is Bishop Emeritus Dr. Robert Solomon, whom we all know. While he served as Bishop of the Methodist Church in Singapore, he served also several terms as President of the National Council of Churches of Singapore. The second speaker is Reverend Asiri Pereira, who is the President-designate of the Methodist Church in Sri Lanka. We all know how Sri Lanka has just come out of a long and terrible civil war and which they are still now grappling with the issues. Thirdly, we have invited Mr. Anthony Rao, who is the Secretary of the General Council of the Methodist Church in Malaysia. We all know Malaysia, our closest neighbour, about whom we have read a lot, and he will give us an inside view about how the church in Malaysia is attending to those issues. All of them will give a Wesleyan perspective about the challenges facing their nations and how the churches are responding to seeking the welfare of the city. This year, Aldersgate also falls on a Sunday. And so we have taken the opportunity to get the bishop to preach a common message to all the churches via pre-recorded video. I'm sure you will be blessed. Come and join us in all of these things that, so that together we can plumb deeper into the depth of who we are as a people called Methodist. Shalom, my friends. May God's grace and peace always be with you.